In this recording, we will show on this very first part the integration of Cam Assist inside SolidCam. Now, if we take a look at the part, you'll see it's a relatively simple part, but it has some chamfers built in on the part itself. It has some holes, counterboards, and it also has a big hole over here with a slot going around the top of the part. Now, it's also important to note our toolkit. Our toolkit are tools that are specifically made for this part, which I have loaded. These are actual tools that will run the part. We have a taper mill, I have an end mill, and this taper mill we'll be using for chamfering. If we take a look at the way this taper mill is designed, that is used for chamfering. And we have drills, end mills, and so on and so forth. Okay, so let's get started. We'll right click on our operation and we'll run Cam Assist. Now, at its first stage, it's first checking to see if it's feasible to be machined and it's analyzing and showed no issues at all. So we can continue on with this particular part. You'll note I'm keeping this at inches because this part itself is in inches. I'll go to prepare and in prepare, it has a workpiece. Take a look at advanced mode. If I go to the advanced mode, you can see that it automatically has taken all of our tools that was inside my toolkit and imported them into Cam Assist with the intentions of using these tools. It also gives you the roughing setup and the uh, finishing, all the different parameters it needs for that. All I have to do right now, besides looking at the fact that it does take a three axis machine, material type, and of course, like I showed you just now, the tools. We'll just run Cam Assist on the part, and you can see that it's converting everything into operations. It does show one issue, and that issue is that it will not do the bottom of the part as the bottom cannot be accessed at this point. Now, we'll also see what kind of program it's been using. It's been using facing, roughing, flat floors, wall machining, hole making for the boring of those holes, and chamfering and always deburring. Okay, so now let's send this to our CAM package. We'll click on Send to CAM and then close the program. You can see now that all of those operations are being built. And of course, and of course, any one of them can be edited and reviewed to your particular case. What I like to do in this particular case is I just take a quick look. I see I have more or less what I need, and I'll do just calculate them all, showing all the tool paths that it has recorded. If I find anything that doesn't look exactly the way I'd like it to be, I can always go in and edit it. But let's take a look also what we have here. We have face mill operations. We have, for roughing, we have iMachining 3D, two of them, one with a smaller, a larger tool, and then a smaller tool. Then we have, uh, the pocket recognition does the face mill, the face machining, finishing off the flat faces. And then we have our wall machining operations over here and our counterbore. Let's take a look exactly what happens inside our simulation. You'll see that with our first tool, with our first tools, we have our face mill, which does a rough and finish, and then we have eye machining 3D, which machines out the rest of all of our eye all of our roughing around the part. This does it pretty well exactly around the part, including the larger hole in the middle. Our next tool will just finish off the corners that needed a smaller end mill. And now we're ready to do our floor machining. Our flat floors, one on the other side, one on this side, top, now the walls, and then it's going to do also the spot drills, and let's just finish it off with everything, including the uh, chamfering, which see a full chamfering done, and at the end of every operation, if there was no chamfer on it, it'll do deburring. So this is a complete part that was done 
using Cam Assist. In our next recording, we'll do a different part that's also relatively simple, but it has some fillets on it, and we'll see how we deal with that.